I didn't know if they invited me here or not. I thought they invited me on spring break. It's good to see y'all. Rob and Melissa, they made it down there yesterday, I think, and they said it's hot and sunny and wine, wine, wine. So, well, it's good to see everybody. Are you ready to worship Jesus this morning? You know, it's, it's really a neat season we're in, uh, approaching Easter, and it's amazing how God has had us go through John and end up right here at the crucifixion. And he's arisen, and, and now he's appearing to everybody. So we'll get into the scripture a little deeper when you invite somebody to come for Easter. Um, John is really a, a light writer. He's simple, and uh, he doesn't get into much detail, but we'll get into a little deeper detail for people that come that maybe don't know Jesus. But it's good to have you with us. I'd like to open up with a scripture this morning for our worship team. It's in Psalm 54, and I picked verses 6 and 7. It says, I'll sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. He starts out, I'll sacrifice a free will offering. And that's what we're to do as the body of Christ, to not only bring our tithes into the storehouse, but our offerings as well. And free will offerings are what we do over and above the tithe. And that doesn't necessarily mean money. It can be what we do as, as a service to people. Just loving somebody is a free will offering. Aren't there people you butt up against day to day that aren't worth a, a love? But you do it anyhow because it's what God wants us to do. That's an offering to Him. It's like the sweet smelling incense, a sacrifice to the Lord. He says, I'll praise your name, O Lord, for it's good. That's what we've come to do today is to give the Lord praise and glory and honor for what's gone on in our lives this last week. I don't know about you, but I've been blessed with a good week this last week. And I'm sure there are some of you sitting here that said, oh my, you don't know what I went through. And there are valleys and, and mountaintops. And it's really neat to have the peace of Jesus in our hearts because it takes that roller coaster ride and just makes it kind of balance out and even out. Even though it's rough, tomorrow there's going to be a good day. And we can count on that in the Lord. It says, For he has delivered me from all my troubles, and my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. He's already delivered you from your problem, your issue you're going through. And while you're continuing to go through it, even though he's delivered you from that, it's to learn and grow in him and to be more like him. To develop that compassion and heart that Jesus has to be able to love others. And he's put triumph on my foes. So we, we've already overcome those rascals. We can count on that. That God, if we're walking as righteous and holy and upright as we know how, God is going to show his hand of favor on us by putting our foes at rest. So I just thought we'd talk about that this morning before the team comes up. Uh, they've got some really good worship uh, lined up for us here. And I want us just to rest in the peace of Jesus this morning. That's what Jesus is talking to us about here in, in our scripture where we're at. Peace be with you, he told the disciples. And that's what I want to settle down over us today. Uh, if you're going through a lot of things, hard things, just let the peace of Jesus settle down over you this morning. Lord, we thank you so much for your love, mercy, and grace. And as the worship team comes, Lord... I pray a blessing over them that they can lead us into praise, into worship, that it all might glorify you. And Lord, I'm praying there will be a song, a word, a phrase, a line that will touch a heart here this morning that needs to be restored and renewed. And we'll be careful to give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor for it. And we'll do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Are you loving the sunshine? Yay! Anyway, go ahead and stand. Yeah, let's, let's give God praise for this. I'm so excited. All right. We're going to start today with um, a song that we haven't done before. We're going to do You Are Holy. And it has lots of echoes in it. And gentlemen, you're going to kind of follow Mike and Mom. 
mark, and ladies, you're going to follow sunshine and I. So um, have some fun, smile big, and let's praise, let's praise God.
such an awesome God. Lord, we're overwhelmed today at the thought that you would die for each one of us in this room. And we're going to learn today, blessed are those that have believed and not seen. But Lord, we see you in our hearts. We see you all around us in the body of Christ working Lord, we're so thankful that you saved us from our wicked ways. Lord, if we turned away, we'd have absolutely nowhere to go. Oh, you're such a good God. We love you with all our heart, with all our might, with all our soul. Lord, let your Holy Spirit fall down on us today and touch us right where we're at. Lord, there are hearts in here that need to be restored, renewed. There are people in here that need to see you, Lord. If you're real, they just need to see a touch, a glimpse of you. Lord, I'm asking you to reach down and touch each heart in a special way today. That is what you died for. That is what your compassionate heart longs for, is to be with us and to have us love you back. So, Lord, we're here. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. And we give you all the praise. And we do it in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Shake a hand. Love on somebody before you sit down. April 5th is a youth skate. Nate, where is that? Back there in the back row. Hold down the back row. Yeah, uh, reminder, April 5th, skate station. Right, April 5th. And uh, from 2 to 4, we're going to be skating, but we're going to, if you need a ride, you can do this over there, but if you want a ride, we're taking the bus from here. Um, Rex Rolls is going to be driving for us. We 
we got plenty of space. Sign ups in the back, permission slips in the back, and uh, all the information's in the back and online as well under the use section on the Destiny website. Any questions, you can see me afterwards. Yeah, now I'm going to be on spring break and I'll get my leg. Yeah, broke. some people, I mean, skate station or for it. Come on. I mean, skate station. <laughs> 18th is Good Friday service at Grace Uptown. And like I mentioned before, some of you maybe haven't heard yet, uh, we got an invitation from uh, Pastor Chris for the whole congregation if, if we want to come up there. And they're going to have a Friday evening service. It's going to be a worship service. He's going to give a, a little sermonette. And then they're going to do communion. And uh, he said Baptists and, and non-denominationals can take communion together, can't they? And I said, well, do you love Jesus? And he said, yeah. I said, well, then you know, we can take communion together. So I'd like us... I know we're all busy and got a lot of stuff to do, but if there is any way you could go up there and support this, their heart behind this is for us to jump on board with them and start showing some of the churches in this city that we can do things together and the roof won't fall in, thunder won't come down and, and kill us. We're trying to get a unity set up among the churches and Chris is stepping out asking Destiny to partner with them and help try to get this going. We need to break the ice with that because we've got a really bad thing going on in this city with our churches and unity. So we need to get over that. Oh my gosh, how are we ever going to spend heaven together if we don't have it together here? So if you can do that, I really would appreciate that we could go out there going to have snacks and and everything, and it's just going to be a good time. And it's up on Mitchell Street. It's Grace, right by uh, Flint Walling. And then we're going to have Easter breakfast at the new complex at 8 o'clock, and all you have to do is come. Uh, the food's all going to be provided, and it'll be ready to go, and we'll, we'll eat, Easter eat Easter breakfast together, and then uh, we'll come here for the service. So... That's all the announcements I have. We need to be praying for uh, Ken and, and uh, Mark, too. I was thinking my worship was going on. Instead of worshiping, I was thinking. That first song, did you guys watch any kind of sign that? That was just a hair bit too fast for this guy. He's good, but that was fast. And then I'm thinking about Mark. Blue Southern Bluegrass Gospel. Didn't he do a good job? Playing it takes everything he can do not to get that Southern twang in there. You just got to try and do it. At least it was fast for you, Mark. But I was thinking of Ken. I thought, how cool. This is something. I got two sermons here this morning. I, I had this one written for two days, and this one I wrote in 40 minutes this morning, because the Lord was speaking to me. So, we're going to take off and see where this goes. I like it, but I don't. <coughs> it's neat to have the Lord speak to you. But I sure message you trying to We have worked through Jesus' life for 33 years. We've been from the beginning to almost the end of John here. We know he was born of a virgin, uh, Mary, through the Holy Spirit. We see him do miracles early on in his life, and he just keeps right on going on and doing them and, until the, the very end, right up to the last second. And very, very few times do you ever hear about his resurrection being a miracle, but to me that resurrection was a miracle. Uh, the very last thing he did was a miracle. We hear him give commands and promises. 
And you know that's where the, the rubber meets the road with all of us because we can hear all the commands and promises we want and if we're not in obedience with Him, if we don't choose to worship Him and have our faith be in Him and Him only, then those promises and commands are useless. We hear His life-sustaining teaching. He gives us life. This book here is a road map for our life. And even though we deal with meth and, and prescription drugs and, and all kinds of other things in our society today, we can go in this word and read instruction on how to deal with things that can be the same as meth or anything else in, in this word. That word has never changed for 2,000 years. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, thank you. But we've heard his sustaining, life-sustaining teaching, and people didn't accept it. Hardly anybody accepted it. 